Hey everybody, Evil Black Rifle 1969 here. Hey, we're going to take a look at the GrimWorkshop.com offering to the, uh, for the month of August. I just got this in the mail yesterday. Uh, it's a $20 subscription. Um, went ahead and opened it up. Comes in a little bag. Slips right in your mailbox. So once again, 20 bucks a month. I pay for this stuff. Uh, not sponsored. Just seems pretty cool. I like the idea of it. Pretty neat stuff. Um, let's see what we've got. Alright. First off, they give you a little sheet here. It gives you an idea of, uh, tells you exactly what you've got. So I'll let you take a look at that first. Gives you the value of it all as well. All right, first off, I'll show you the, uh, the business card here. There's their contact info. All right, first off, we've got trench fire. How to build a trench fire. Got a nice visual aid there. And I like these. I mean, these are great. Impervious, tough, outdoor. There's your instructions on how to build how to build that trench fire. You've also it generally I think it comes with two of these uh, cards, tip cards they call them. Here we've got the fishing card. Now this is pretty cool because uh, you, they show you how you can make a can uh, hooks out of a can tab hook. You got a safety pin hook, a zipper hook. Um, thorn hooks, different versions of the thorn thorn hooks. You can lash a couple together and make a treble hook out of it. That's just pretty nifty. Wooden nail. And you can even strip some wire. Alright, and it does come with one tool. Generally, it'll come with several tools, uh, but today we've got a pretty nice case, it looks like, that it com comes with. Here's the mini hook micro tool. So if you get a good look at that guy there, you've got half a dozen. Now that backing you see on right back behind here, that's kind of a sticky backing that holds this metal on there and the hooks. So if you break the hooks, if you take the hooks off, you can, you, it looks like you can stick it back onto that, uh, that sticky film there. And let's take a look here. Yeah, okay. It comes with a little clip. Six hooks. Yeah, that's what it is. That peels off. So that's a, kind of a rubberized. It's very cool. Made in USA even. Those would be great for panfish. Get you a nice fish meal. Alright, let's take a look at this. What are they calling this guy? Uh, canvas quad fold wallet. So it looks like it's an early prototype. Uh, looks like they do have a leather quad fold wallet available that's very popular. This one here says you can run some uh, paracord through there if you want to hang it around your neck. Looks like a great pocket size to me if you're not carrying a lot of gear with you. And you could fit a lot of their uh, survival stuff in there as well as some of your own. So. Got a spot for a little morale patch there, looks like. And I can see why they're calling it, call it a quad. You'll have to pardon, that's my uh, crazy husky over there having a little dinner. She's getting a little noisy. So, oh yeah, so you've got some Velcro, Velcro pockets. Looks like you've got double Velcro pockets on the upper and lower. 
on the sides you've got one velcro pocket and uh, these straps here looks like you could hold some stuff down with that as well so a lot of room in there not sure how to organize it well but Yeah, this thing's pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. And there you have it, guys and gals. Once again, at GrimWorkshop.com. Check them out. I think they've got some pretty interesting, uh, reasonably priced stuff. All right, guys, I uh, appreciate y'all. I'm new to this, so if you don't mind, uh, if you uh, like it, like, subscribe. I do appreciate your time, and have a good one.